and only God the Son. Everybody stands so we can face the room. Go ahead. So that's west. That's west. This is east. Who shall ascend unto the hill of the Lord? Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that has clean hands and a pure heart. Who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessings from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him. That seek thy face, O Jacob. Say la. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. And be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. And the King of Glory shall come in. Who is this King of Glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Even lift them up, ye everlasting doors. And the King of Glory shall come in. And the King of Glory shall come in. Who is this King of Glory? Who is this King of Glory? The Lord of Hosts. The Lord of Hosts. He is the King of Glory. He is the King of Glory. Selah. Selah. I read to you out of the book of Psalms, the 24th chapter, verses 3 through 10. We pray that the Lord will bless those that would read, hear, and obey his holy word. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. <laughs> I thank Brother Dye for reading the Psalms. That's the name of the Lord. That's the name of the Lord. Happy Sabbath, everybody. Happy Sabbath, brother. And uh, Shabbat Shalom and Feliz Sabbath to all my Spanish speaking brothers and sisters out there. Psalms 24. Yes. Which is a great reading, by the way. And um, today's lesson is called Seek Him Earth. Seek Him Earth. And we're going to show you today mm -hmm. how important it is for us to seek Him Earth. Yeah. Because we are in the last days, yes, sir. And, and time is ticking. So, why did not? It is far beyond time for our people mm -hmm. to wake up as a nation. That's right, sir. So, open up your Bibles to Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 11, okay. New Testament. Hebrews chapter 11, mm -hmm. beginning with verse 1. Is everybody there? Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Mm -hmm. For by it the elders obtained a good report. Uh -huh. And through faith we understand that the worlds were framed through the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Mm -hmm. That's good. Let's get down to verse 6. 
But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Mm. Without what? Without faith. Without faith, it is impossible to please him. Him who? The Pope? The Most High God? No, the Most High God. Amen. Amen. Finish reading, bro. For he that comes to God must believe that he is, mm -hmm. and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Okay, key word is diligently seek him. That's right. Because uh, a lot of people say they love the Lord, say they serve the Lord, but mm -hmm. they're not doing nothing he say, and they're not seeking him. That's right. And, it, 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 and, the, and the Lord is something else, because even if you ain't seeking him, the Lord control everything on his planet. Anyway. So he gonna make sure that this word is presented to you so he can know whether you're going to serve him or you're going to serve Satan. Speaks up. And if you're going to serve Satan, then he got a place for you. That's right. It's called the Lake of Fire. Lake of Fire. Lake of fire. Turn to Isaiah 55. Amen. I'm probably better than get a word of the Lord today. Isaiah chapter 55. Verses 6 and 7. Don't go there yet, brother. Let me get a chance. I got that. And we're going to show you the same thing that the Lord is telling us in the Old Testament. That we need to seek him. We need to seek him. Isaiah 55, mm -hmm. verse 6. Go ahead, bro. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Mm. Seek him while he may be found. That's right. So that is in, <laughs> that, that in, is inferred that mm -hmm. we that, that it's going to be a time he ain't going to be found. That's right. So, go ahead, bro. Call ye upon him while he is near. Mm. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Mm. So that means what? We got to change our way. That's right. We can't keep doing the same thing we used to do. So, um, and he said the Lord will abundantly part. Abundantly, yes, sir. So, he said, if you seek him, he will be found. Now, I'm going to show you why it's real important for us to seek him early. This is one point of why it's early, to, why it's important to seek him early. Go okay. to John chapter 7. Okay. I mean, there's many different reasons, but the main reason is what we're going to pick up on here. First of all, to get into his kingdom. Because if we ain't seeking him, <laughs> we ain't going to make it. John chapter 7. But we're going to read into it. The main, one of the main reasons why it's important to seek him early. Go ahead, bro. After these things, Jesus walked in Galilee. Or he would not walk in Jewry. That's Judea. Mm-hmm. Because the Jews sought to kill him. They, they want to kill Jesus? Yes, sir. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. I can read you in John chapter 15 that the Lord said, if, if the world hated you, you know that it hated me That's right. before it hated you. That's right. So they wanted to kill him. Go ahead, bro. Verse 2. Now the Jews' feast of tabernacles was at hand. Mm -hmm. His brethren therefore said unto him, Depart hence and go unto Judea, that thy disciples also may see the works that thou doest. For there is no man that does anything in secret, and he himself seeks to be his own, to be known openly. If thou do these things, show thyself to the world. For neither did his brethren believe in him. Now this is Jesus' own brother. Didn't even believe it. Not at all. Telling him to go show himself to the world, because they knew if he went out there and showed himself to the world, they would have killed him. They had called him up. But, but check out what Jesus took. Then Jesus said unto them, My time is not yet come, mm. but your time is always ready. That's right. He said, My time to be crucified to, to, for y'all is not come yet. Mm. But your time is always ready. What does that mean? That means we are always dying. That's right. Every one of us in here knows somebody else can die. Mm. And because of Adam and Eve saying we've been dying daily. And it's not going to change until the Lord get back. That's why it's important for us to get into his kingdom. That's important for us to get to seek him early to get everlasting life, everlasting eternal life. That's the reason. Long, and we're going to read it too, long life oh, in this flesh yes, while we're on this earth and in the spirit when we get our spiritual perfect bodies, when we make it to the hopefully first resurrection yes. or the second resurrection. But we don't want to make the second, believe me. 
You want to make the third one. Both times. That's another lesson, though. Uh, did you finish that one? Verse 7. Go ahead. The world cannot hate you, but me it hates, because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. Mm. And we are back to those times now. Uh, <laughs> you know, way back in the times of Noah, when, 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 the Lord, when the Lord had to repopulate the earth with eight souls with Noah's family, he said evil was in the earth continually. We are back to those times now. So it's going to be a great purge when the Lord returns. He's going to take out the evil. The time of Noah, so. Now, that was the end of that, right? That was the end of that. Go, to, go back to the Old Testament, Deuteronomy 4. Mm -hmm. Deuteronomy 4. Begin with verse 29. Deuteronomy 4. But if from thence thou shalt seek the Lord thy God, thou shalt find him, if thou seek him with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Mm. Ain't that so? Mm. Read that again, bro. It says, but if from thence thou shalt seek the Lord thy God. Seek the Lord thy God. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt find him. Thou shalt find him. If you seek him. Mm -hmm. If you ain't seeking him, if you claim like in the church I grew up in, oh, we just going to wait on the Lord. Yeah. But the Lord has specific instructions for us while we wait that we have to do some things. Do something. So, right. uh, go ahead, bro, finish that. If thou seek him with all thy heart mm. and with all thy soul, when thou art in tribulation and all these things are come upon thee, even in the latter days, mm. if thou turn to the Lord thy God and shall be obedient unto his voice, the, the, for the Lord thy God is a merciful God. Yes. He will not forsake thee, neither destroy thee, nor forget the covenant of thy fathers, which he swear unto them. Mm -hmm. Now, he, 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 in, verse, in verse 30, he said, when thou art in tribulation, so when trouble come upon you, come. what do we do? Mm -hmm. We call on the Lord. Yeah. But the thing is, it's gonna, we're going to show you today that you need to call on the Lord all the time. That's right. Not just when you're in your trouble. Yes, sir. Not just when you're not feeling good. Yes, sir. Not just when you're in pain. <clears throat> That's right. You know, call on him daily. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, uh, what is it? somewhere in Psalm, uh, King David said that he praised the Lord seven times a day. That's every day. So if we wake up one day and say, oh, I'm not going to pray today, the Lord is watching that. That's right. Uh, let me, I'm going to get carried away. Uh, skip down to verse 39. 39. Know therefore this day, mm -hmm. and consider it in thine heart, that the Lord, he is God in heaven above, and upon the earth beneath, there is none else. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt keep therefore his statutes and his commandments, which I command thee this day, that it may go well with thee, yes. and with thy children after thee, yes. and that thou mayest prolong thy days upon the earth, See? Which the Lord thy God giveth thee forever. forever. Yes, Amen, mm -hmm. brother. Say, see, see, the scriptures don't lie. They don't lie. Say, I command thee this day that it may go well with you if you keep the, His commandments and His statutes right. with thy children mm -hmm. and thee, that thou mayest prolong thy days upon the earth. Because mm -hmm. in the church I grew up in, we said, okay, we going up to heaven. Yeah. We, we we trying to strive for heaven. But we're going to show you today that the Lord's kingdom is going to be on this earth. Teach him. Uh, Teach him. Was that the end of that? That was the end of that. New Testament, Acts 17. All right. Oh, yeah. We're going to breeze through this. Like, it's, it looks like a long lesson, but it's not. It's good anyway. It's the savage. Praise <laughs> God. So, thank, thank you. You ain't got nothing to do but serve the Lord. That's man. right. Oh, Amen. Amen. Acts 17, beginning with verse 24. Four. Oh. Yes, sir. You there, sister? <laughs> I'm here. I'm here, brother. <laughs> okay. Have I? Praise God on that. Acts 17, verse 24. Go ahead, bro. 
God that made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwells not in temples made with hands, neither is worshiped with man's hands as though he needed anything. Seeing he gives life to all and breathes and all things, mm. and has and has made of one blood all nation of men for to dwell on all the face of the earth, yes. and has determined the times before appointed and the bounds of their habitations, that they should seek the Lord. That they should do what? Seek the Lord. Seek the Lord. Seek the Lord. Now that's in the New Testament. Yes, sir. The Lord said, "I change not." I change not. Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. And forever. Yes, sir. Bro. That they should seek the Lord, if happily they might feel after Him yes. and find Him, though He be not far from every one of us. Amen. For in Him we live and move and have our being, as certain also of your own poets have said. For we are also His offspring. That's right. We are all children of God. For as much then as we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone, graven by art and man's device. Right, that's idolatry. Mm -hmm. Can't do that. At the times of this ignorance, God winked at, but now commands all men everywhere to repent. Mm. Does Israel repent? No. Nope. Everybody. All men everywhere. That's right, bro. Amen. Every, everybody to repent. Because he wants everybody to make it. The Lord, we, the Lord is merciful. Yes, sir. Uh, 31. Finish that 31. Thank you. Because he has appointed a day in which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he has ordained, whereof he has given assurance to unto all men, in that he has raised him from the dead. That's right. That sounds like Jesus. That's that right. That was that was Jesus. Sir. Uh, yeah, see, Jesus died for us to get back access to eternal life that Adam and Eve took away. So, you know, a lot of people don't even appreciate what he did for us. But we're going to continue on. We're going to show you the, some other important reasons why it's important to seek him early. Uh, John 7. Some one verse here, John chapter 7. Verse 38. Go ahead, bro. He that believes on me, as the scripture has said, as out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. He said, he that believeth on me, as the scripture has said. Yes, sir. Did he say, he that believeth on me like my pastor said? No, sir. My friend? No, sir. My mama? No, sir. My dad? No, sir. No, he said, as the scripture. As the scripture said. <laughs> but what do we have in these churches today? They go off a of philosophy of their own mind. Pastor said. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> My pastor said. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I remember uh, just last year when I was in Kentucky, ran across this church. They kept the Sabbath day, but they didn't do all the rest of the commandments. Mm -hmm. This sister said, I will follow my pastor wherever he go. There you go. So you're going to follow your pastor to the Lake of Fire? Yep. You're going to follow your pastor to hell? Right there. <laughs> Man, I don't think so. I'm not doing that. I'm going to do what the scriptures say. What the we scriptures go by say. the book. That's right. What the book says. That's right. That's right. Amen, bro. Glory to God. All right. Isaiah 56. My bad. Babylon. Right. That's all right, brother. It's good. It's good. It needs to be heard. Isaiah 56. Mm -hmm. Beginning with verse 1. Go ahead, bro. Thus say the Lord. Keep ye judgment and do justice, for my salvation is near to come, and my righteousness to be revealed. Yeah. Blessed is the man that doeth this, and the son of man that lay hold on it, and keeps the Sabbath from polluting it, mm. and keeps his hand from doing any evil. Mm. Neither let the son of the stranger that has joined himself to the Lord speak, saying, The Lord has utterly separated me from his people. Neither let the eunuch say, Behold, I am a dry tree. So salvation is not just for Israel, right? Yes, sir. And this is in the Old Testament for my Old Testament brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. It said, verse 3, the son of the stranger, yes. they got a chance of salvation. That's right. And, 
And it said, neither let the eunuch say, behold, I am a dry tree. That means salvation is for everybody if they walk in this thing according to what's written. Yes, sir. Uh, finish that, bro. For thus saith the Lord unto the eunuchs that keep my Sabbath and choose the things that please me mm. and Did take he, hold whoa, of my whoa, company. Whoa, whoa. Mm -hmm. He said, keep my Sabbath. That's right? what he said. Keep Did he Sabbath. say, keep my Sunday? No, keep my Sabbath. Mm. That's right. Sabbath, yes, sir. which is today. Which is today. Okay. Go ahead. And take hold of my covenant. Even unto them will I give in mine house and within my walls a place and a name better than sons and of daughters. I will give them an everlasting name that shall not be cut off. Mm. Also, the sons of the stranger that oh, join so themselves. The sons of the stranger. Sons of the stranger. That's right. Keep reiterating that. Go ahead. That join themselves to the Lord, to serve him, and to love the Lord, love the name of the Lord, to be his servants. Everyone that keeps the Sabbath from polluting it and taking hold of my covenant. That's right. Even them will I bring to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices shall be accepted upon my altar, for my house shall be called a house of prayer for all people. That's right. Just this right? All people. All people. Yes, sir. All right. Finish that, bro. Uh, that was uh, on eight. And the Lord God which gathers the outcasts of Israel says, Yet will I gather others to him, others, others That's right. besides those that are gathered unto him. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we've it. seen that over and over again. That it ain't just Israel go, got the chance of salvation. That's right. Now, let's go to the New Testament. Acts 17 again. Should have told you to hold the marker there. Passed through Amphipolis and upon and Apollon, Apollonia, Amen. they came to Thessalonica, where there was a synagogue of the Jews. And Paul, as is his manner, was went. I'm sorry. And Paul, as his manner was, went in unto them and three Sabbath days reasoned with them out of the scriptures. What? Now Paul did what? Paul went in and. That's right. And this is after Jesus died and resurrected and sit on the right hand of the Father. That is correct, sir. Paul and the apostles kept the Sabbath day. Yes, sir. Jesus himself kept the Sabbath day. Yes, sir. So why is the majority of the world keeping another day? See? <laughs> That's right, bro. They are deceived. That's why Paul warned us about another Jesus. Another Jesus. That the world brings. That's right. Finish reading that, bro. Three. Opening and alleging that Christ must needs have suffered and risen again from the dead, and that this Jesus, whom I preach unto you, is Christ. And some of them believed and consorted with Paul and Silas and other devout Greeks, a great multitude, and of the chief women, not a few. But the Jews which believed not, moved with envy, took unto them certain lewd fellows of the baser sort, and gathered a company and set all the city on an uproar and assaulted the house of Jason and sought to bring them out to the people. Now, let's get down to verse 10. And the brethren immediately sent Paul and Silas by night, sent away Paul and Silas by night unto Berea, who coming thither went into the synagogue of the Jews. These were more noble than those in Thessalonica in that they received the word with all readiness of mind mm -hmm. and searched the scriptures daily mm -hmm. whether those things were so. They searched the scriptures daily. Mm -hmm. Did they search the scriptures like once a month, once daily. a year, daily. Daily. Mm -hmm. And Jesus tell you that in John chapter 6, verse 63, it is the spirit that quickens the flesh profit of nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So why not, it's not going to kill nobody to search the scriptures daily. It's going to give you eternal life. Yes, sir. But people don't, people don't understand that. It, it goes over their head. Finish reading that, bro. 11. That was it. Oh, that was 11? Yeah, that was 11. Okay. Search the scriptures daily. Now, Acts 17, go to Mark chapter 2. Here's an example that Jesus himself 
is all about the Sabbath day. Acts chapter 2, verse 23. Oh, oh, Mark, Mark 2, my bad. Thank you. And it came to pass that he went through the cornfields on the Sabbath day, and his disciples began as they went to pluck the ears of corn. And the Pharisees said unto him, Behold, why do they on the Sabbath, why do they on the Sabbath day that which is why do they on the Sabbath day that which is not lawful? And he said unto them, Have you never read what David did? Wait a minute, hold on, bro. Twenty-three says, and it came to pass that they went to the cornfields on the Sabbath day, and his disciples that they began to pluck the ears of the corn. Mm -hmm. What is not what is unlawful about that? Are uh, they work? They hungry, yep. so they grabbing the ear of corn. You ever shuck some corn? <laughs> you have, you, you got to peel back them them things, the husks. The, the husks that's yep. right, them little strings. Mm -hmm. And did, did they did they set up a campfire and start cooking no, those corn? So they weren't polluting the Sabbath. Nope. They were just eating because they was hungry. If, if I was on the journey, a Sabbath day's journey, and I got a sandwich in my back pocket, mm -hmm. I can eat that sandwich. That's right. As long as I ain't sitting on no fire and cooking. Right. You know, as long as I ain't putting in no microwave and cooking. Because we, we know in the Old Testament that the man was stoned for picking up sticks to make a fire, make a fire. to cook on the Sabbath. Cause we can't get technical about well, you know you know you got uh, cutting on these lights, okay? That's a form of fire. That's electricity. You know we can't be overly righteous, but when it comes to specifically cooking, mm -hmm. that's on the Sabbath, that's 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 against the law. That's against God's law. That's against the Sabbath. So it said they plucked the ears of corn, and twenty four said, oh, uh, start with twenty five again. 25 or 23? 25. 25. And he said unto them. And he said unto them, Have you never read what David did mm -hmm. when he had need and was hungry? Mm -hmm. He and they that were with him. Right. Now he went into the house of God in the days of Abiathar, the high priest, and did eat the showbread, which is not lawful to eat but for the priest, and gave also to them which were with him. That's right. Now David was a mighty warrior for the Lord. He was about to be set up to be the, the next anointed king of Israel. That's right. So if, if if the warriors for the Lord can't get something to eat, how how is it unlawful for them? Read verse 27, bro. And he said unto them, the Sabbath was made for man and not man for the Sabbath. That's right. The Sabbath was made for us to keep. Mm -hmm. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. Now, go to Matthew 6. Uh, 28. Yeah, 28. Oh, my bad. Therefore, the Son of Man is Lord also of the Sabbath. Jesus is Lord of the Sabbath. That's you right. read that in Matthew 12 and Luke 6 as well. That Jesus kept the Sabbath, Paul and the Apostles kept the Sabbath. The Sabbath is going to be instituted for us to keep in the future as well. That's right. Now, what else say? Matthew 6. six. Matthew 6, beginning with verse 24. Go ahead, bro. No man can serve two masters, mm. for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. That's right. You cannot serve God and mammon. Mm. You can't serve God and money. You know, back in the day, there was a song called, Who Wants to Be Like the Joneses? Mm. Everybody wants to be like everybody out there, everybody else. Can't nobody be, I was just speaking with my wife the other day about being unique, being different. We, everybody want to be like the world, but the world is going to hell in a handbasket. Mm -hmm. uh, keep reading. Yeah. Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what you will eat, what you will drink, 
nor yet for your body. What you will put on is not life more than meat and the body than raiment. Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are ye not much better than they? 27. Okay. Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubic unto his statue? And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say to you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Mm. Wherefore God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Mm. <clears throat> Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we drink? What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherein shall we be clothed? For after these things do the Gentiles see. For your heavenly Father knows that ye have much need of all these things. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. That's right. Your heavenly Father knows what you need. But the first thing we need to do is seek ye first the kingdom of God. And if we seek him according to what's written, mm -hmm. he will provide everything we need. Yes, he will. Plain son. Yes, he will. Uh, go to Hosea chapter 2. Hosea 2. Begin with verse 1. Okay, well, this is the Lord here in the Old Testament saying, it's basically speaking to the, his church. And that's us, we are the bride of Christ. So I'm gonna show you something that, that the Lord is wondering, if the Lord got a problem with his wife right now. Mm -hmm. And this is right here, uh, Isaiah, uh, Hosea chapter two, beginning with verse one. Go ahead. Say ye unto your brethren, Amen, mm -hmm. and to your sisters, Rahama, plead with your mother, plead for she is not my wife, neither am I her husband. Mm -hmm. Let her therefore put away her whoredom out of her sight and her adulteries from between her breasts. Lest I strip her naked and set her as in the day that she was born and make her as a wilderness and set her in like a dry land and slay her with thirst. And I will not have mercy upon her children for they be the children of whoredom. That means they serve another God. Mm -hmm. For their mother has played the harlot she that conceived them has done shamefully. For she said, I will go after my lovers that give me my bread and my water, my wool and my flax, mine oil and my drink. Therefore, behold, I will hedge up thy way with thorns and make a will that she wall. not find her path. Make a wall. I'm sorry, make a wall. That she not find her path. And she shall follow after her lovers, but she shall not overtake them. And she shall seek them but not find them. Then shall she say, I will go and return to my first husband. Mm. For them it for then it was better with me than now. Right. For she did not know that I gave her corn and wine and oil and multiplied her silver and gold, which they prepared for Baal. See, now that's the children of Israel so. to the folks. So. Brought them out of Egypt yeah. in captivity and slavery. Right. Amen. Brought them out of bondage. Yes, sir. <laughs> and within 40 days, they went and worshiped a molten calf. Right. Mm -hmm. Instead of the true and living God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that last verse, it says she wanted to return to her first hood. Mm -hmm. Because, but she didn't know that the Lord gave her corn and wine and oil. Right. The Lord provided her. <clears throat> Right. Mm -hmm. Thanks, bro. Uh, Isaiah 65. Yes, sir. Isaiah 65. You know, verse 
But ye are they that forsake the Lord, mm -hmm. that forget my holy mountain. They forget the Lord. Mm -hmm. That prepare a table for that troop, and that furnish the drink offering unto that number. Therefore I will number you to the sword, mm -hmm. and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I called, you did not answer. Mm -hmm. And when I spake, you did not hear. But did evil before my eyes, and did choose that wherein I delighted not. So y'all did evil before my eyes, and when I called, mm -hmm. y'all did not ask me. That's just like, that's just like today. If you're chilling at home and, and the phone rings, oh, that was a good call ID. Oh, that's Jesus. Oh, he ain't talking about that. I call him back later. Call me back. <laughs> the Lord said, I called and y'all didn't answer me. That's a problem. And people that do that, they're going to pay at judge. Uh, Holy Trap. Go to Isaiah 66. Yes, sir. Isaiah 66, beginning with verse 1. Go ahead, bro. Thus saith the Lord, the heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that ye build unto me? And where is the place of my rest? For all those things has mine hand made, <clears throat> and those things have been, saith the Lord. But to this man will I look, even to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit, mm -hmm. and trembles at my word. Yeah. He that kills an ox is as if he slew a man. He that sacrifice a lamb as if he cut off a dog's neck. Mm -hmm. He that offers an oblation as if he offered swine's blood. He that burns incense as if he Blessed and I, yea, they have chosen their own ways, their own ways, and their soul delights in their abominations. Wow. Before, wow. I also will choose their delusions hmm. and will bring their fears upon them, because when I called, none did answer. Hmm. When I spake, they did not hear, but they did evil before mine eyes and chose that end and chose that <clears throat> in which I delight not. That's right. Everything that the Lord don't like. They chose that instead of what he said. Man. Instead of getting his blessings, they want to fall out to somebody else. Sir. Still ain't changed to this day. No, not at all. Same thing. And he said it again in this chapter, verse, chapter 66, that when he called, none answered. None answered. <laughs> they ignoring the Lord, rejecting the Lord. And how many of y'all know that when you continue to reject the Lord, he will reject you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's a sign of a reprobate mind. Yes, sir. Oh. Let's, let's go to Matthew 7. Because mm -hmm. this is something we're going to show you <clears throat> four words that you never want to hear from the Lord at judge. <laughs> no, indeed. Matthew 7. Mm -hmm. Beginning with verse 21. Matthew 7, and verse 21. Go ahead, bro. Not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter to the kingdom of heaven. Mm. But he that does the will of my Father, which is in heaven, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? Mm. And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many wondrous works? Mm. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. That's all you get. Mm -hmm. But they doing it according to their own righteousness, right. not what's written. That's right. Keep reading, bro. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. What? That's what he said. I never knew you. Never knew. That's, that's, that's what the Lord gonna say to a lot of people when, when he returns. That's right. I never knew. I you. Never. You know. You know why? Because when I called, y'all didn't ask. Yes, sir. When I speak, you didn't hear. That's right. That's right. Amen, bro. Keep reading, bro. Therefore, whosoever hear the word, hear these sayings of mine, and does them, mm. and do them. That's right. That's right. So you can't just hear the word. You can't just read the word. You gotta do. It. You gotta do. It. Keep going. Bro. I will liken him unto a wise man, yes. which builds his house upon a rock. Mm -hmm. That's the end of that. That's the end of that. Matthew, uh, Proverbs one.
never knew you. And I, the part for me that worked iniquity. Many that say unto me, Lord, Lord, they ain't going to enter into his kingdom. They scream his name, holler his name, Jesus, 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 but they ain't doing nothing. They ain't doing what he said. Nope. It's going to be a sad day, unfortunately. Proverbs 1, get on verse 20. Go ahead. Wisdom crieth out, crieth without. She uttereth her voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief places of concourse in the openings of the gates in the city she uttereth her words saying how long ye simple ones will ye love simplicity mm. and the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge mm. they hate what they hate knowledge turn you at my reproof behold i will pour out my spirit unto you i will make known my words unto you because i have called you and you refuse. Mm. I have stretched out my hand, and no man regarded. But ye have set at naught all my counsel, and with none of my reproof. I also would laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear comes. <laughs> he said he gonna laugh at your calamity. <laughs> That's what the Lord said. That's right, man. But he gonna do that because he called and we didn't ask. And we didn't ask. Yes, sir. Go ahead, read 26. I will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear come. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. Mm. They shall seek me Hold early. Hold he said, <laughs> when they go through all this, all that. Come as des desolation and destruction yes, as a whirlwind. Yes, then they should call upon yeah. me, and I will not answer. I will not answer. That's why it's important for us to seek Him early. That's right. Seek Him all the time. That's right. Otherwise, Probably we gonna seek Him too late. That's right. That's right. Man. Finish that, bro. Twenty-eight. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Acts chapter 2. We all know what done. This is this good. Acts 2. We go to verse 29. Go ahead. Bro. Men and brethren, let me freely speak unto you of the patriarch David, that he is both dead and buried and his sepulcher is with us unto this day. So David is not in heaven? No, he's not in heaven. The man after the Lord's own heart is not up in heaven? No, he's in the ground. That's right. That's, That's what it says. That's what it says. He's in the ground. Yes, sir. Dead and buried. Dead and buried. Keep reading, bro. Therefore, being a prophet and knowing that God has sworn with an oath to him that of the fruit of his loins, according to the flesh, he would raise up Christ to sit on his throne. He seeing this before spake of the resurrection of Christ, that his soul was not left in hell, mm -hmm. neither his flesh did see corruption. Right. This Jesus hath God raised up, whereof we are all witnesses. Therefore being, therefore being by the right hand of God exalted, and having received of the Father the promise of the Holy Ghost, he has shed forth this, which ye now see and hear. For David is not ascended to the heavens, right. but he said himself, The Lord shall, the Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand, until I make thy foes thy footstool. Mm -hmm. Therefore let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God has made that same Jesus whom he crucified, both Lord and Christ. Mm -hmm. Then we read earlier whether, whether his own brethren didn't trust and believe in him. That's right. And then what do they do? They crucify the Lord. But now, he is both Lord and Christ. Yes, sir. And he's going to make a second coming and take out all the evil on this planet and set up his kingdom on this earth. Uh, 37. Go ahead. Now when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said to Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Mm. Then Peter said unto them, 
Repent and Repent. be baptized. And be baptized. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So what you got to do, you got to repent and be baptized. And get baptized. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't know that if you was baptized on a Sunday church, you got to get baptized again. Okay. That's right. Because you was coming up in <laughs> falsehood. Yes, sir. In false doctrine and lies. That's right. Being deceived by Satan and devil. Yes, sir. And I can show you, I can show you another place in the Bible where it tells them that, that they was baptized by John. They had to get baptized again in the name of Jesus. That's right. That was in it, right? 39. Oh, 39. That's right. Go ahead. For the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. About to read 9, Matthew 22, that the Lord calls a lot of people to this thing. And I'm guilty of it too. I rejected it. Yep. Seen the signs too many times and just played it off like it was nothing. But uh, the Lord is merciful. Yes, he is. Matthew 22, go ahead with verse 1. Bro. And Jesus entered and said, and spake unto them again by parables and said the kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king which made a marriage for his son and sent forth his servants to call them that were bidden to, to the way and they would not come again he sent forth other servants saying tell them which are bidden behold I have prepared my dinner my oxen my fatlings are killed and all, all things are ready come unto the marriage but they made light of it and went their ways, one to his farm, another to his merchandise. And the remnant took his servants and entreated them spitefully and slew them. Whoa. But when the king heard thereof, he was wroth, And he sent forth his armies and destroyed those murderers and burned up their city. Then saith he to his servants, the wedding is ready. But they which were bidden were not worthy. They were not worthy. Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find, bid to the marriage. So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they were found, both good and bad. And the wedding was furnished with guests. And when the king came to see the guests, he saw that there was a man which had not on a wedding garment. And he said unto him, Friend, how camest thou in hither not having a wedding garment? He was speechless. Then said the king to the servants, Bind him hand and foot, and take him away, and cast him into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Hmm. For many are called, but few are chosen. Many are called, but few are chosen. Do you know when the Lord calls a whole lot of people, multitudes? But the majority don't answer only going to be a remnant. And I'm not just talking about the 144,000. Mm -hmm. What's more than that? Uh, mm. go, to, go to Revelation 19. Yes, yeah. Revelation 19. Now we're going to see that the bride has made herself ready. But of course, this is in the end times, after the great tribulation. And uh, uh, Revelation 19, verse 7. Go ahead. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him. For the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife has made herself ready. Okay. So the bride of Christ has made herself ready now. Mm -hmm. Finally. That's right. Go to chapter 21. Revelation 21, beginning with verse 1. 
And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I saw John, the holy city, and I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. There shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, it is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. He that overcomes, he that overcometh, shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But the fearful and the unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their place, shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. That's why we want to make the first resurrection. That's right. And there came unto me one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials full of the seven last plagues, and talked with me, saying, Come hither, I will show thee the bride, the lamb's wife, and he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me that, that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God. And descending means coming down. That's right. That's why we we'll read the Lord's prayer or say it, thy kingdom come, thy kingdom will be come. done in earth, on earth as it is in heaven. Having the glory of God and her life was like unto a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal. That was in the uh, Revelation 5. Revelation 5. Oh, yeah. yeah. I had to. Revelation 5, verses 9 to 10. Okay. Go ahead, bro. And when he had opened the fifth no. seal. Revelation 5. I'm sorry. And they sang a new song saying. Yeah. There we go. And, I, all right. and they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. For thou wast slain and hast redeemed us unto God by the blood of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. And who was slain for us? Jesus. Jesus. That's right. He died for our past sin yes, to give us back access to eternal life. That's right. Verse 10. And has made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. We're going to reign up in heaven? On the earth. On the earth. Yes, sir. That's right. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. On earth. Now, Revelation, uh, Matthew 7, and this will be last. Matthew 7. Matthew 7 and verse 7. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Amen. For everyone that asketh, receiveth, and he that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Or what man is there of you, whom if his son asks bread, will give him a stone? No. Or if he ask a fish, will give him a serpent? No. If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father, which is in heaven, give good things to them that ask him? Therefore all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction. And many there be which go 
which go in thereat. Okay. To enter you in at the straight gate. Mm -hmm. So the majority of the world are going in at the wide gate. Wide gate. And they are leading, they, lead, they are going on a path of destruction. That's right. But he, he said, enter you in at the straight gate. Read verse 14, bro. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life. And few there be that find it. He says, straight is the gate, mm -hmm. and narrow is the way, yes, which sir. leadeth unto eternal life. Mm -hmm. And few there be that find it. Mm -hmm. So the majority of the world taking the, the wide gate, they're not going to find it. That's right. Was that the end of it? That was in the end That was 14. Okay. So, what did we learn today? I know it's kind of, <laughs> kind of, it looks long, but it's not long, but uh, we got through it, praise God. We learned that the main re reason for us to seek him early is to get into his kingdom, okay? And one of the main reasons why is because we are living in this flat. Mm -hmm. we, we die in daily. Time is running out. That's right. And uh, we strive to get eternal life. And, 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 and we, as long as we seek him early according to the scripture, uh, we read it that when we do things according to his word, our life will be, our days will be prolonged upon the earth, which, which ties into everlasting life. And, and the four words that we don't want to hear in judgment is, is I never knew. We got to seek him early, because we we in the last days. It's evident, and if we don't do that, we you know the book say the righteous scarcely be saved. Scarcely. So that means it's gonna be a lot of people that don't make it. Man, that's scary. <laughs> that's scary. That's scary, bro. Yes, sir. So uh, that's that's the end of the lesson. Seek him early. Thank you for your time. Thank you for coming, and uh, I hope somebody got some understanding. Glory to God. Amen. And uh, now we'll have the announcements. Amen. We certainly want to thank Brother Jamel Judah for that, uh, that word. Amen. And we thank God for him. <clears throat> for we, we know that this brother is not going to speak anything that is contrary to the word of God. Because he knows unto whom he is accountable. <clears throat> so, Brother, we thank God for you. Amen. Our announcements are as follows. We would like to welcome all of our brothers and sisters and hope that you come.